Hello friends, it's Kat from Yam Yam Kapow. Let's talk a little about adaptability because that's the entire reason this video exists. You see, I spent all of last week setting up to make a new palette build video, specifically to make some palettes with the intention of putting them up for sale. One's already filled with brand name paint, so there's the double bonus of getting to try out some new colors inside a shiny new tin with some fun decorations. But, well, I got distracted and sort of ended up working things out of order and, well, there was a bit of a mishap. You see, the first paint brand I decided to pour was M. Graham, and M. Graham usually takes at least a week to dry enough that it's completely portable, something I know from having done so for myself on multiple occasions. So of course, the day after I pour the paint, I have the brilliant idea to knock all the pans around and flip the tins and generally just make the most masterful of messes. Sigh. Only one of the palettes was really put through the ringer. The other two are fine, but it was definitely a lesson. Rather than freak out, throw a tantrum, yell for a while, and quit YouTube forever, I put on my big girl panties and looked for a way to adapt. I've never missed an upload on my channel since I started it, and gosh darn it, a bit of spilled paint ain't gonna make me throw in the towel now. My personal solution? I sometimes like to draw super stylized pictures of people, because why not? It's fun, and it's usually silly, and they often only take an hour or two if I don't get super detailed. Quickly, I asked a group of friends if any of them were willing to let me use their likeness in a vid, and was, thankfully, able to throw this together last minute by the grace of the magical and mystical Orion, who is an author PA. Which means if you're a writer and in need of someone to be bossy to you, whip you into shape, keep track of spreadsheets, arrange social media posts, and other things that get in the way of actually just writing, Orion's your gal. I'll link to her services down in the doobly-doo, which is also where you'll find all the materials used in this piece. Surprisingly, a few weeks before I was even a little on Meaden's radar, I found this block of watercolor paper that they sell for maybe $10 or something, and claims to be 100% cotton. After using it, I actually think that might be true. But I digress. The point is, adapt, adapt, adapt. In life, there are going to be many times when things just don't work out the way you expected or wanted or could have even dreamed up, and at those times you can either give up or you can keep fighting. I'm sure if you think about it, there are already plenty of times when you've had to put this into practice yourself. Maybe it's just as simple as you decide to bake some cookies, but it turns out you don't have any butter, so adapt last minute and try to make them with oil instead. Or maybe it's that you lose your job suddenly and make a sharp left turn in your career path towards something entirely new. Maybe it's just that you wake up one day and realize your days have grown stale and you need to shake things up and try something new to bring back a bit of happiness. Whatever it is, being able to accept the need for change or an adjustment of expectations is absolutely crucial to get through life. At least sometimes, anyway. There's certainly nothing wrong with making a plan and a schedule and plotting your course as tightly as possible, but it'll help in the long run to keep your mind and heart open to the idea that, at least some of the time, plans may need to change a little. One of my favorite things about going to see live theater are those special moments that are unique to that particular showing. Sometimes it's obvious that a character flubbed a line or dropped a prop, and other times their ability to adapt smoothly is so masterful that you can never quite be sure if their actions were intentional or not. And really, most of the time, nobody even needs to know anything went wrong in the first place. If I hadn't outed myself, nobody would have ever known this wasn't the video I had planned for y'all this week. And don't worry, I will finish those palettes and make more down the line once I get a good workflow. I'm glad I made a silly mistake early in the process of doing this because it's helped me learn a lesson early. Now let's hope I got the biggest mistake out of the way so all the next ones can be super small and easy to work around. Until I see you next time, I wish you peace, love, and the ability to overcome.